I cannot believe that in two days, I'll be flying out to Raleigh for my first convention in like 16 months. Whoa. I promised myself that returning to conventions after COVID, I would be literally more organized than ever. Um, organization has been a problem in my past. Like once I get to the booth, I'm professional, but behind the scenes, a mess. However, I've spent the last, well, 16, 18 months uh, really working on that and making sure that when I did go back to shows, I went back with a bang. That means hyper prepared, no packing the day before I fly, no working on costumes up until the day I leave. Well, maybe a little bit of that. But for the most part, just making sure that I have everything I need at my booth to make my experience stress-free and to make the experience of those who are coming to the show who might stop by or coming to see me um, visually appealing. So I'm sitting on my Husky box, which if you don't have one of those and you do travel for shows, um, I super recommend it, whether you're guesting or just attending. Husky boxes, 10 out of 10. I got mine from Home Depot. I believe they have a lifetime warranty. Mine did actually break uh, before COVID. Someone threw it real wild, but my dad was able to fix it. So thanks, dad. So I thought it might be fun to just go through my Husky box together and show you guys um, what I believe the essentials are for boots, should you have one. Um, first off, shout out to Canvas Cosplay who suggested this to me years ago for um, my banners. I used to just kind of like do my best to roll them into my luggage and sometimes they'd come out kind of crinkly. You know, you know. So he suggested this. It does work as a carry-on and I, as soon as I get on the plane, I just ask the air hostesses if it's okay if I can slip it into their little closet and they never say no. However, if they were to, it fits in the back of overhead so easily. It also expands. Um, let's see how much it expands. It's pretty far. Yeah. So, fantastic. This was from I got mine from Michael's uh, with a 40% off coupon, so pretty cheap. So pretty affordable for sure and well worth it. Another fun new toy I got recently, um, I moved it so you can't see it, but uh, Blue Can Cosplay, I'll have links below for everybody I talk about who has suggested things to me. Husky Box was suggested by Baroness Von T. Um, but Blue Can Cosplay recently did my Princess Peach wig, which Holy shit, it's incredible. Usually when I travel with my wigs, cause I've never had any like really crazy styled wigs before for my cosplays. I've avoided that strictly because I am the worst at wig styling. Did my peach wig, it's fantastic. And I was like, how do I take this with me without ruining the beautiful spikes, right? Because if they get ruined, it's gonna be really tough for me to fix them. Cause I don't have that skill set. Um, so I hopped on Amazon and I found this. So, it was, I think, $50. Um, it would be another carry-on. It's important to remember you can only often have so many carry-ons. I'll be separating ours uh, between my husband and I. Obviously, if you're driving, that doesn't matter. Um, but also, I won't be taking Peach to this show because the costume isn't quite done yet. So I don't have to worry about carrying it this time. Um, but it unzips. And then in here, it has a wig holder for your wig head that also <sighs> slips out. Hell yeah, so Amazon, it comes in different colors. I wish they had pink, they don't. 10 out of 10 suggest this. It also comes with a nice little strap to wear across your body. So that's another, I'm not taking that one this time. Um, but yeah, so let's jump into my Husky box. I also cover my box in stickers. I know recently I discussed doing a sticker trade with some of my pals on Facebook. I need to do that because I need more of your beautiful stickers for my Husky box but let's dive in. Well, another thing for wigs, so like I mentioned that I always keep them in bags because I just, that's the only thing I knew how to do. So Maya, oh my gosh. So I bought these last year during quarantine from them. They're a UK black owned business and they are incredible. Um, and they have all different sizes of these. And I just, oh my gosh, I can't. They really came in clutch for the cosplay community last year too. Um, they were sharing everybody and just really being wonderful when uh, so many I think, US and worldwide cosplayers started ordering from their company when we saw the magic of hanging wig bags. Look how clean that is. Oh my God, shout out to Maya. I will also uh, put their links below as well. Obviously taking your merchandise for a booth is super important. If you are a cosplay guest, I know you know about print books. My favorite are the portfolio ones. So I have two 10 by eights, one four by six, and one 11 by 17. 
I also have one of the artist's portfolio bags, which can be used as a carry-on as well, although I put it in my roll-along carry-on. And I put all my prints in that in the order they are in the book. So I know where to like pull it out and I'm not digging forever. Um, 10 out of 10 on these books. I'm sure you guys know about those already, but just in case. Moneybox also off Amazon. Uh, this one I think was 10 bucks. It's cute and pink. Uh, it's got a place for your coins and your cash. This is not something I've ever had in the past and I can't tell you how many conventions I lost track of my like earnings or money in general. So super pumped to have this. Like I said, going back way organized. I almost completely forgot I needed a new square reader. Shout out to uh, Husbando for reminding me. Um, this one was $50, but it's the one that has the touch, uh, which I, so, okay, story time. I'm not entirely, oh, it also came with this one. I'm not entirely sure if this is accurate because it didn't happen to me, but um, back when the touch cards and chip cards first came out, this also does chip, uh, I heard a lot of vendors at shows saying that when they would swipe chip cards, which you can do on the original Square Reader, uh, sometimes those payments wouldn't process at all. So you give the people the product, the convention ends, and a few days later you found out you never got your money. Uh, so I heard a lot about that. A lot of people at the shows were mentioning that. So I wanted to bring that up. Might be worth investing in the newest Square Reader just to make sure that doesn't happen to you. If you have hanging banners like I do, I have two long hanging ones instead of a pop-up one just because it's much more lightweight to travel with in my personal opinion. Uh, the shows don't always have the hooks that you need or enough of them to hang your banners. And then you know how at the bottom it kind of like flips up, uh, it's a whole thing. So off Amazon I got my own pack of hooks and also magnets for the bottom of the banner. I will also be using the magnets on my Scarlet Witch headpiece, so it worked out great. I have little baggies for all of my merch. This is my tip jar. I got a set of two of these, just cute little acrylic. I'm, I'm obsessed with acrylic storage. My whole makeup desk is all acrylic storage. I wish my cosplay room was too, but it's so expensive. So I got a set of two of these off of Amazon for I think like six bucks. Um, I'm gonna use my Cricut to print out tips on the front and yeah. Um, I know there's a lot of discussion about whether you should or shouldn't have a tip jar. I don't think it hurts. Obviously, don't pressure your your patrons to give you tips. That's not appropriate. Uh, but sometimes people do like to throw a little. Ooh, sometimes people do like to throw a little extra your way. So I don't think there's any harm in having a tip jar personally. To keep everything as together as possible, here are all my print bags, all different sizes: 11 by 17, 10 by 8, and 4 by 6. I also have cute little metallic four by six, and then I put them all in this poly bag. So I'm gonna pull some of this out, but not all of it. So I have these, I, I'll put them closer. Um, I usually use these for Etsy. I started using them at booths before COVID, and then I mostly use them for Etsy. Obviously we haven't had shows, duh, Sophie. Basically it just says, thanks for your support. If you'd like to support my work further or get exclu and get exclusive content and merch, check out the following platforms as my Patreon, my Etsy, and my OnlyFans. So I slip this into all print bags as well as a business card. Not everybody who buys merchandise from you at shows will already be following you or know your work. Um, so I think it's important to be able to be have something that you can just slip in, they can check out later, something that looks cute, something that looks good, instead of trying to tell them about all of the platforms that you have. But yeah, I just thought this was a cute little idea. Those cards this time around, I have a QR code on them. Uh, that takes people, again, to all of my sites, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, everything. And overall, this is really convenient and it takes up less space on your business cards than typing out all of your websites because I know I have a ton. I have all my stickers in here in a little baggie also. I have my photo books in poly bags as well so they don't get damaged. Booth menu. So instead of putting price stickers on everything, um, I got this through Vistaprint. I just had a little menu made. So it has the price of print stickers and other merch C table. And those I will just let people know the price of should they be interested in gandering my wares. I also got one of these for the Connors Cosplay magazine issue that I'm on the cover with. And there's another QR code where they can go straight through and buy the issue should they want to. So this will be on my booth as well. The rest of the space in this will be for my cosplays, wigs, and cosplay shoes. Does anybody else almost always almost forget their shoes for their cosplay? I don't know why my brain just doesn't think, hey, you need shoes for that. Um, so that, I will get everything I can in here for under 50 pounds so they don't try and charge me $100 extra. 
Some other items that I will be including that weren't in this box right now is a cosplay emergency repair kit with glues and needles and threads and everything I could possibly need, double-sided Velcro, double-sided tape, everything I could possibly need to repair cosplays should something go wrong. I hope nothing goes wrong. And my cosplays will all be vacuum sealed, except for the armor, obviously. Well, also in the emergency kit, paints and little paint brushes, just in case you have to touch up. I also have acrylic scans for displaying my armor. And when I drive to shows, I do take mannequins from my booth to display the costumes I'll be wearing this weekend or just a showpiece costume. Um, however, because I'm flying, I just have like a little acrylic scans that I will be using to kind of prop up some of the props from like the Skyrim armor I'm working on and kind of some current projects. Another thing I typically do, I'm not sure if I will have space this time. I do have a corner booth, but I'm taking a lot with me. Um, but I usually take an iPad and a stand for the iPad iPad, and then on that I play, I make a looped video of uh, like scenes from my cosplay music videos, scenes of me working on cosplay, scenes of my Twitch, just kind of like a demo reel of who Oh My Sophie is. And it's kind of cool because well, often, especially when it gets to the parts where I'm working on cosplay, uh, people who may not know who I am or anything about me or anything about cosplay will stop and kind of watch and then chat with me about it. So um, it's a really great conversation starter. But on that note, portable chargers, which I need to go buy today. Portable chargers are a necessity. You don't want your phone to die while you're swiping cards or just at the show. You don't want your iPad to die. If you have other electronics at your booth, you do not want them to die. I think that's everything. Um, obviously I'll be taking wig caps and wig heads. Um, I really can't think of anything that I'm missing right now. There may be something, hopefully not. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little look into what I pack for conventions. Can't believe it's finally time to go back to shows. I am so excited. Um, I will be appearing at GalaxyCon Raleigh all four days. I'll be judging the costume contest, doing some really dope panels, which I need to go do the outlines for. And yeah, I'm just excited and nervous and can't believe it's time. Like where did the last 16 to 18 months ago, holy shit. But anyway, if you would like to support my work, patreon.com slash omaysophie, onlyfans.com slash omaysophie. Uh, Etsy has lots of merch and prints on it. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, please check out my other videos. We're trying to hit partnership. And I love you guys so much. Bye.